pre-qualification soft pulls do not set off trigger leads. Huh. True or false? True. Very true. So this is actually one of uh, one of my favorite things to talk about, to, to be honest with you. So trigger leads. So let's, let's start out from the gate. What is a trigger lead? A trigger lead, what it is, it's a product sold by the credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. What it does is it's data that is sold to someone in the lending industry, whether it's mortgage, auto, personal loans, business loans, insurance. What it does is it is data bought by those businesses in those industries that indicate this person has just put in an application for financing. They are in the market and they are about to close on a deal. Therefore, it's in the consumer's best interest for you being a competitor in the industry to reach out to them to let them know whether or not you can offer them a better rate or better terms on the loan they're about to take out. The thing about trigger leads is it's actually to protect the consumer against predatory lending. What do you mean by that? So if someone only had one option and they didn't know about what's available to them, they might be railroaded into terms, into conditions that maybe aren't in their best favor. By selling trigger leads, the Bureau's um, reasoning behind it is we'll sell these, this information to people in the industry who also offer these same services to allow the consumer the best opportunity to get the best rate. It's, you know, I kind of compare it to, um, to like dating. We'll say, uh, you know, someone is uh, just about to get married and the dad goes, no, I want every single man <laughs> in the United States to know this woman's about to get married and I want all the best suitors in the area to be able to give them, give her the best, uh, the best uh, courting uh, before uh, she gets locked into uh, a, a contract. Yeah. That, uh, it is she, a contract. Yeah, that she's, uh, you know, could not be in her favor. And so really, do you think we should, we should vouch for that as a new legislation that anytime you get married, you have to put it in the newspaper? You know, uh, <laughs> I, I think the fathers would like it and, yeah. and the, the women would not so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So if you could describe trigger leads in, in one sentence, how would you describe them? Trigger leads are there to protect the borrower from taking out a loan that doesn't have the most favor favorable terms. Um, now, a lot of people say that trigger leads are annoying at best. Um, you know, the one thing is, it's just like with anything, you know, a, a good thing can be um, turned into something that is not beneficial. And a lot of times, um, you know, I think trigger leads get into the hands of, of um, people that are trying to um, manipulate a situation and offer rates uh, that are just um, way too good to be true. And because of that, uh, trigger leads have become um, something that is viewed down upon when in reality they really were there to uh one let's be honest uh have another product that the to bureaus sell. can sell yeah uh but two to allow consumers to have a better uh, 360 degree view of uh, their financing options so back to the original question do pre-quals not set off trigger leads pre-quals do not set off trigger leads which for our end users is the best case scenario if I was a lender or a broker, and I was working hard with a consumer to get them financing. The last thing I want them to know is if there's better rates or better services out there that are going to negate all of the work that I put in in order to secure the loan. But I'm still going to have to run a hard pull in the end, so they're still going to get trigger leads. So why? What's it matter? It's all about building relationships. I mean, when you're in the finance industry, you're a salesman. And when it comes to sales, it's about building that one-on-one um, -on -one trust with the consumer. And just because something's cheap or cheaper doesn't mean it's better. You know, good things aren't cheap and cheap things aren't good. So doing a loan with someone that you like, that you can trust, that you can go back to later on and know that they're going to do right by you is not always um, going to be weighted on whether or not you're getting the lowest term or the lowest rate. It's really about 
you know, that, um, that personal um, trust that you build with a lender or a broker. And let's be honest, in this day and age, um, you want to support your local lender and broker because, you know, you don't want to go with these, um, you know, another, another company might be not even in your local area and, and you got to support local, you know, that's why we here in, um, in, you know, the great city of Carlsbad, California, we really like working with our, our local lenders and, and brokers because, you know, while we are American credit systems and, you know, the whole United States is, is our, our territory, um, we really do take a lot of pride in our local uh, economy and that's what it, really what it comes down to.